Your performance here today, um, just tell us a little about it. Um, you know, it was a very challenging race, you know. Um, my old train, training mate, Ronnie Ashi, he ran a, a good race. Um, you know, I'm starting back to get back into my rhythm because I had a bad fall this year and a little minor injuries. So, you know, I'm going to be improving and improving more this year and make hopefully a legal time in on the circuit. Okay, what exactly happened? Because uh, we realize you're not at your best. You're not where you were last year when you won uh, the, the world title. Um, this year I was trying to, um, I was working on some new stuff, new new training drills and techniques, but it's not working out. So you know, I'm going back to the old school way, and it's not improving. And I'm going to surprise the world later this year. Um, do, how, how, how difficult is it for you um, as the world champion? Um, you know, not to be producing. You know what you would have delivered last year. Um, it's, it's, it's normal right now. It, it, sometimes you get ups and downs, and you can't really worry about what happens. You see, this is life. Life is all about ups and downs, and you gotta go through them and learn from your mistakes and come back again. Okay, uh, which means what happened here, second place, um, it's not a big deal to you? Uh, nah, it's, it's not, it's not. I'm just trying to improve on my times and just go out there and go hard. Okay, uh, what would you do differently next year um, to make sure that it's a world championship year? Um, next year, I'm going to go the old, the, my old school way from from world champs and go hard and retain, regain my, my, my gold medal. and. Go hard again. Okay. Was there any consideration in, in whether you'd want to come here as a world champion and under 23 meet? Um, to, to get back in my rhythm and you know try to take the pressure off of me, you know, on the circuit. So. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much, man.